This is the Double Eagle M40, MP40 style spring airsoft rifle. Uh, this isn't how you'll see it when you get it in the box. It's uh, a heavily modified one of mine. We got it from actionhobbies.co.uk for £20 plus £8 shipping. As a gun, I found that it's good as a beginner weapon but there are many many pros and cons, we'll talk about them through the video. This Double Eagle M40 is um, it's quite a good gun, it's got quite a few features, it's very easily disassembled, so you've got this just basic green bodywork, you've got the front the part here and you've got the mag, you know, it's literally like that, and you go down to three main pieces, Although this does come apart further, but I glued mine up. Well, sorry, I glued the other one up. So this comes apart quite easily, so it all goes back together simple and quick. As long as you don't drop anything. Um, I found that for putting together for a game or something, if you've got it put apart, seconds, as I'm showing you now, it comes with a sling ring, which I've taken off this one here, which goes in the back. I believe it came with a couple of slings as well, but they were piles of crap, pretty simply. I mean, to be honest, if you've ever got a sling with an airsoft gun, you will find that they are shite. Um, the mags it come with, 32 round mag, just the one mag, you can't buy spares. But I have found that so long as you don't take them apart, key part, do not take them apart. Trust me, I've found this out. They work perfectly. So they're really good quality, good mags to be honest. Although they are very lightweight. Um, yeah. Another really good historical but also cool feature of this gun is the stock. Now as you can see here, no stock. And then, voila. It's got a stock. It's a folding stock, just like um, an AK mortar point, just like a real MP40. It's quite wobbly, it's got that much wobble factor in it, I don't know what you would call it. But when it's in your shoulder and you're holding the gun with two hands, you can't tell that much because you actually got it held quite firmly. It's very, very good for changing in the field, being able to go from one to the other. Right, this gun is quoted as, on different websites, 170 to 230. I've forgotten what it says in the box, but I believe it says it's about 180. Um, I wouldn't put that for certain. However, I've taken this apart, which I don't completely recommend, but it is possible. You can take out the plastic screws, put them back in afterwards. And I've whacked in a 350 FPS spring that I got off KH Mountain eBay shop. Um, it, it was already quite a powerful gun. I mean, it doesn't sound that powerful, 230. But because of its accurate range is less than 20 feet, it's powerful for the maximum range. Um, with the new spring in it, I'd love to say it's powerful for more than that, but these guns do seem to have many, many manufacturing defaults and just faults. Um, for instance, we bought two, and one of them was on the spot, aimed exactly where you shot it at, 20 to 30 feet. It was perfectly accurate. This one, at 4 feet, was hitting a foot left. Just foot to 2 foot left okay um really really inaccurate so i've never really been able to aim this and get it to hit anything at more than 10 feet um however they are great pieces of the kit and if you want something as a prop for a film these are perfect for what you want especially considering you can get them for as low as 12 quid this gun uh has I, we'd say it's relatively easy to use. As you can see on this one, I've taken off the little latch, but on another one, which I have painted black for use as a prop in the film, I've not got the end on it at the moment, they have a little handle here that pulls out of the side, so you can pop it easily. It's 
not that hard to cock unless you're firing a BB through it and it shuts all of your room. That's a bad move. Um, it's not very hard to cock. It's nice cocking action. Easy to hold by the mag. And the handle's quite nice and easy to hold. It's got perfect size stock to fit right in your shoulder. The uh, only real thing I could ever say about it, this gun being hard to use is on the, unless you paint it with something, this pattern on the grip, this length first pattern, just feels a bit weird on the hand. It's just a bit slippy and I don't like it personally. But you know, the mag catch is a simple push button there. Cheap like you'd expect it to be. Push it. Right, build quality on this gun. It depends what price you're paying. If you're buying this for 30 quid, the build quality is mediocre to poor. If you're buying this for 35 quid, the build quality is piss poor shit. I mean, I would not pay 35 quid for this. As it is, I've taken this part twice, but I've put it back together perfectly. And, you know, this, it splits up. It's just a poor, vacuum formed style, sh shitty plastic construction. Um, however, it is a well-made shitty plastic construction and well worth 20 quid I think um, the plastic is relatively thick I've not managed to break it yet surprisingly I've hit it etc etc not purposely obviously um, the tubular bits at the end are all very very strong ABS I mean the whole gun's ABS obviously it's not got great tolerances I mean there's wobble factors in it and it's not you know it's still got Moulding lines on it, flash lines, what I'm going to call them, which is a bit rubbish, but it's fine for that, I think, considering you're paying very little. Historically wise, it's, uh, it's for 10 quid again, it's great. I mean, the rail on top, it comes with a wrist rail on top. Now, you can take this off easily. I decided when I first got mine, I'd take it off by taking the gun apart. What I then discovered, because you can't find this out via YouTube, this whole piece on top, this whole psych bit, if you just leave something under it that's stronger than my fingernail, it's not going to work, but you can, you just leave something under it and this whole black piece pops off the top and the rail, this rail, just screws in via three screw holes. So you can uh, just uh, unscrew the rail, put it back on, and although at any sort of close range that site looks nothing like a true to real life German World War II site, it will do, and it looks like it when you're aiming down at least. Um, the markings on it, etc., again, aren't great. You know, Double Eagle M40, only use 6mm BB bullet. Oh, that's obviously not World War II authentic, but there's so much that's wrong with this gun. For instance, the bolt on the wrong side. There's so much wrong with this gun, but because if you're going to use it as a prop, you're only paying 10 quid for it. This is the best thing you're gonna get, shy of 130 quid. Right, this gun is cool, it is awesome. I don't care what age you are, just having one in your hands make you look instantly cool. If you have like a little cheap plastic German helmet, these are the ones they were selling around the World Cup time, put that on your head and suddenly you're awesome when, you were, when you've got this in your hands. Seriously. These look cool, especially on a, a field. I mean, it's an MP40, what can I say? They're made for killing Jews. <laughs> it, it's, it's Nazi style at its height. End of story. Right, okay, so our rating system for this gun is, right, for the value of the gun, we're gonna give it a seven out of 10. Quality, we're gonna give it a five out of 10. It's a Poor build quality to be honest, but you're paying very cheap prices. Power, FPS, we're going to give it a 6 out of 10. I do want to give it a 7, which some of you would say for high for a gun that's only max 230 FPS, but it is a cheap gun. And it is mainly a backyard plinker. But I'm only going to give it a 6 because it does go so low. There is so much variation between guns. For the accuracy, that's grouping, etc., I'm going to give it a 5. I want to give it a 7, but again, it's just so random, the uh, the amount of grouping you can get in it. Um, for the range, I'm going to give it a 5, obviously. Historical accuracy, I'm going to give it a 6. It's not very historical accurate, 
but from a distance nobody will know and only someone who knows a lot about MP4s or Google search for them will actually be able to sell them. Uh, ease of use, I'm going to give it uh, an 8. Easy to use, very easy to use. Accessories slash features, 6. Magazine solutions, 6. Again, want to give it a 7, but you can't buy spares, so it's got to be a 6. And G rating, or coolness, what you want to call it. It's got to be a 9. It's an MP40, man. End of story. Right, this gun's got an overall rating of 63 out of 100, which is a C on our scale, or good. I mean, it works, it's a relatively decent gun, and it, I mean, look at that, it just looks awesome. That's painted in a basic coat of black with some rust stains added. I mean, on film, you know, put some other flash in there, you won't be able to tell the difference. Um, it is nice, you just got to look at it. However, it is... It's what you pay for. It's better than what you pay for, but it's still what you pay for. Don't go out expecting an amazing gun. Go out expecting an amazing looking gun. That's the key to this. So I hope you've enjoyed our review.